Okay. There are a lot of rumors floating around and I just want to take this chance to clear up a couple of things and address a few of the lies and falsehoods and fictions about me that you might be seeing on the internet or reading in the papers or hearing from crooked local law enforcement or traitors that we all thought were friends, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. First of all, I want to say what a privilege it was to work with you guys at the firm for the past 17 years. Every day was a joy, a privilege, a sacred duty. I'm not completely blameless. I'd like to apologize to all of you wonderful, wonderful people at Becker, Green, Williams and Dodge in a way that conveys true regret for everything that has happened over the last few weeks, but is, and I cannot stress this enough, not an admission of guilt that can in any fashion implicate me. You know, I had a college professor that said to me, Lou, you're defined by your entrances and your exits in life. I want you all to know that I intend to exit this firm with my head held high. And also that, yeah, I did go to college. Papers got that wrong. Two years, the University of Western Florida, go Argonauts. It may not be the big shot, big city colleges like the ones some of you guys went to or Yale like it printed on my diploma, but I went. And in the four semesters I was there, I learned everything I needed to know. And when I left, I left because they had nothing more to teach me. There have been some rumors about law school and about that. All I'll say is this. Lawyering, it's all about thinking outside the box. In law school, well, that's the biggest damn box there is. When I came to this firm in 03, it was nothing. It was boring. Two floors in an ugly building in an ugly office park. There was one restaurant lunch option, and it was a Long John Silver's, and you had to drive two exits down I-93 to get to it. Today firm has five floors in a skyscraper right in the beating heart of America's most vibrant city, Trenton, New Jersey. And for lunch, you can take the elevator to the Long John Silver's in the freaking lobby. And you know what happened between the office park and today? Me. And the difference is those billboards. You know, I get coming after me. People love to tear down great men. But I've been seeing folks on Twitter making fun of my billboards and it breaks my goddamn heart. But the first year after they went up, Becker, Green, Williams, and Dodge made $11 million from cases I brought in. $11 million. That's Mets relief pitcher money, baby. And there were still people complaining. <laughs> Becker and Green called me mocking. Lou, the typeface looks cheap. Lou, what about the firm's reputation? What about the firm's reputation? People trust us, not fancy companies. People. If you slip and fall, who are you going to call? That's right. Sweet Lou. Had a crash and need some cash? Who are you going to call? Sweet Lou. Everyone knows the jingle. I got the same guys who did the Cars for Kids Diddy to do ours. Best 25 bucks I ever spent. And I go out in public and they recognize the glasses and the smile and the scarf from the billboards. And they go, hey, it's Sweet Lou. And they take selfies and they sing that ditty. It's a good time. Those billboards bought me a house on the Delaware Riviera. They paid for my high-rise apartment in Sea Caucus. This cabin in America's sought-after vacation destination, the scenic Poconos. 
and I've ignored the insults for years, every one of them. I, I don't chase ambulances. I catch them. I'm a closer, goddammit. I had this Hillary Clinton doll, and let me tell you, ugliest doll I've ever seen. That baby was baked. A prospective client, they'd walk in, and they'd see the doll, and if they were a Democrat, they'd go, oh, man, this guy gets it. And if they were Republicans, it was ugly enough to look like it was making fun of her. Either way, they knew I was on their side and they were right. Do they teach you stuff like that in law school? I bet they do not. None of those clients deserved a dime. Dumb as gray rocks in a stream. But I got them millions and I have great affection for each and every one of them. In some ways, it was a relief, the, the truth finally coming out. So I'm not an official lawyer. So someone else took the bar for me, allegedly, whatever. I mean, doesn't that make all of it more impressive? It's like when that U.S. ice hockey team with all the college kids beat the Russians. We're the U.S. Law enforcement, those guys are the Russians, the juggernauts. Remember that when they ask you about me. Being a lawyer, it's not about a fancy diploma. It's about helping people and sounding confident and driving a BMW. There's a lawyer in all of us. <coughs> anyway, thank you all. I love seeing your smiling faces every day. I'll miss joking around with the paralegals. I'll miss the office birthday parties. The long John Silver fish fillets in the lobby. And I'll miss my secretary, Meaty Ben. If you guys need to reach me, my office email no longer works, but I still have my phone number, 1-800-SWEET-LOO. And if you ever forget it, just go for a drive. It's still on all the billboards. And don't worry about me. I'll be fine. A lawyer is very hard to kill. Bye for now.